Hey, it's Jamila and Janess. Can you say hi? Hi. We're here to do my one week postpartum um, update and talk to Janess about being a big sister. So how do you feel about being a big sister, Janess? All about it. You're all about it? Are you happy about the baby? Yeah. Um, yeah, he's cute. And is it kind of hard to adjust because mommy's attention has got to be on two people now? Yeah! Um, but we'll get there, huh, Bug? Yeah! <laughs> so, um, Jackson was born on 6 10 16. Janessa yeah. became a big sister yeah. that day, and she was such uh, a good girl. She st actually stayed oh, with my parents for the first time ever. She's always just been with me and Jarvis. And so she did really good, and she's mwah, having. Kiss my nose. Mwah, mwah. She's having. Nose just, kiss. Mm, I love you. I love you. Okay. She's having just a little bit of a hard time kind of adjusting. And um, Janesse, she breastfed for two years. Um, I dried up during my pregnancy, so that like was a bummer. Me? Mwah. Jersey you girl. juicy lip thing. Um, so I mean, it definitely has been adjust. A, whoa, has been an adjustment. But I am slowly feeling better. Um, very tired. I had a C-section. Um, yeah, you have a little Jaxie. And so, I mean, it's just hard because you know, I'm every time I'm at home, I'm just like. Ooh. Trying to get going. That scared I'm trying me. To do what I need Whoa. to do. Yeah. And um. Yeah. So it's definitely definitely been an adjustment. Oh, there's your stuff, and another eyeball. See that eyeball right there? Um. So I mean, he's doing really good. Um. He had a weight drop like most newborns do, and of course my pediatrician. She had the same thing with Janess, but it was kind of different with her because she was tongue-tied and lip-tied, so when she was nursing, she wasn't getting all of her milk. And um, with him, he nurses great. It's just a matter of figuring out, like, positions and stuff like that. So we've been playing with that. So she wanted me to supplement formula for him. And um, I did for a couple of days. But, oh, it was making him so miserable. He um, had the worst gas from that being introduced into his system. And, um, I'm sorry, a one week old should not smell like rotten eggs every time they pass gas. So I was like, no. I stopped it. Like, I maybe probably, probably gave him about eight bottles in the span of three days. And so I just, I'm like, I got to step up my breastfeeding game. I'm just keeping him on the boob and just like letting him stimulate and get that milk going. And, um, Nessie, she's been wanting to get back to it and I've been kind of leery of it, but I have let her just a little bit and I know that'll probably help with my supply as well. And, um... I did receive a free breast pump from my insurance. I um, use it just a little bit just to see what I was like getting out. And of course, you know, it was just, just like the first, it was probably like the third or fourth day. It wasn't very much and he had already nursed. And so I'll have to do it again. I don't know if I'm going to introduce pumping for a, like a couple more weeks. We'll kind of see where we're at, but I'm just trying to establish that good nursing relationship with him because I think we will do really good to exclusively breastfeed. I'm not sure. Look under there and see if it rolled under there. I think we can um, do a pretty good exclusively breastfeeding relationship together, so we'll see. But he's just, he's so cute. I don't know where it is. Hold on just one second and mommy will look for it, okay? Um, and I just, oh my gosh, the, sorry, I'm kind of jumping around, but the hardest thing was the C-section. I was just out of my mind on stupid painkillers and just in so much pain and it was, it was terrible. You know, and 
Um, snappy snap. I'm just, I'm really happy to be back to my, feeling like myself. I do have to kind of like still take it easy. I get so tired so easy. And I mean, it's only um, one week and like four days postpartum. So it's going to take a little bit and I'm super excited. And it's just, I just appreciate my family, my husband, my parents for dealing with me because I have been crazy. I just don't do very well with pain medicine. Everything I've ever had with Janess, I only take them for a certain amount of time and then I can't take them anymore. And then even I had my tonsils removed. I took pain medicines for three days and the rest was Tylenol because I just, I hallucinate. I see things that aren't there. It makes me grumpy. It makes me cranky. And, um... Yeah, I did not like that at all. So I had to stop that and I had just, because I think they prescribed me Loratab and they prescribed me ibuprofen. And of course in the hospital, I really needed it. And maybe like the first two or three days back at home, um, probably the first two days I really was so sore. And just adjusting to stuff and, you know, having a two-year-old and they're jumping on you and they're wanting to do this and they're wanting to do that and having to get up and everything. So, so far I feel pretty good. But then enough about me. No. Or maybe I'll show you what I'm working with on my tummy. So, um, yeah. I, I didn't show you guys my 36... 37 week pregnancy update <laughs> but this is me one week postpartum ah. one week that's pretty pretty good and I got my my tiger marks and then you know my c-section but uh I just have been wearing like high waisted undies and um, still like my maternity pants because it doesn't rub up on the incision. And I just, I feel good. Like, I feel good with my daughter. I was huge. Like, the whole pregnancy, after the pregnancy, a whole year after the pregnancy. And then, you know, towards getting towards that second year. I started losing weight and I really do think breastfeeding help and ch healthy lifestyle change you know but with him it's a completely different story I need to start toning these bad boys up but you know that'll come so yes Ooh, this is mr. Jackson <laughs> him sleeping he's a mr. Jackson Mm, he's so cute. He looks just like his sister Janess when she was a baby, huh, Nessie? Mm -hmm. And he is a sweet little boy. He likes to eat, eat, eat. And um, um, he has the cutest little cry. He'll be like, ah! Like, it's the cutest little cry. And he looks a lot like his dad. And he looks a lot like me. He looks a lot like my, my dad. And a little bit like my husband's dad and he's just he's so fun and he got he got circumcised last week and that was so sad I sat in the room with him while he did that and um, my pediatrician was pretty good like so far the results are looking pretty good um, the way she had it um, while you're doing the procedures if you have a binky She'll have you dip the binky in like a sugar water and keep putting it in their mouth so they, they can focus on that instead of what's happening. And so far it looks really good. Um, she's also my daughter's pediatrician and she pierced my daughter's ears. And so she she's a jack of all trades. So people that know me personally and that work with me, um, Dr. B on 12th Street. She the bomb. You guys know who she is. Okay. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. So, um, I really liked her. And she, 
because the company that I work for I always knew that she's gonna be my pediatrician when I had children so um, when she came to see us with Janess it was every morning at four o'clock in the morning <laughs> and um, she just makes me laugh and she came and seen us every time this time with Jackson as well and yeah so we're gonna go again this Friday to see her for his two-week visit and see how he's doing fingers crossed that he is maintaining his weight because I had to cut out that formula and I'm trying to exclusively breastfeed so I'm just trying to stay up on my eating drinking water trying to get my rest and like I keep him on the breast so hopefully I'm hoping by then by Friday because today's Monday that he'll be back at his birth weight he was eight pounds and 14 ounces um, not quite as big as I thought he was gonna be I still feel like in my heart I could have pushed him out but it is what it is he got here he's safe um, I do want to do a separate video about my labor and delivery experience um, yeah so um, I think that's it we're just hanging out together I'm loving being home with my babies um, I'm trying to think of anything else that's about that's about it I don't know how often I will do these but I definitely want to come and do a video but I've been feeling so not myself <laughs> which is to be well, expected with like surgery Bobby. hello hello alphabet train mm, 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 mm. that's what it sound like so it sounds like old oh it's barney or yeah old mcdonald barney or old mcdonald Does anybody watch barney anymore <laughs> um so yeah that's about it i'm trying to think if i I'm skipping anything. Oh, I definitely want to come and do newborn must have. So, but that's it. Thanks for rocking with your girl and everybody that gave us best wishes. Um, um, from having Jackson, I really appreciate it. It was nice to read, and uh, we'll see you next time. And thumbs up this video for more. And yeah, have a good. I hope everybody had a good Father's Day, and we'll see ya. Bye.